Hello Capricorn, my name is Trudy. I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium and this is your August 2021 reading. So for this reading, let me get organized here. Lulu might make an appearance. She looks like she's about to jump on the table. So we're going to be using my Illuminated Tarot. There she is. And this is by Caitlin Keegan. Um, and we're also going to pull you, let's see if we have time for it, because I feel like your reading is going to be strong. The force is strong with this one, Capricorn. Yes, and Lulu is ringing her bell for ex extra added confirmation. They say, you save the best for last. And here we are, Capricorn. So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any other placements you may be looking for. And hey there, Cross Watcher. So, Capricorn, August 2021. If you want a private exchange of energies with me, click on the description box. It's a downward facing triangle. It's a, I think it's here. It's a downward facing triangle and it's going to drop down a menu with a couple options for you, a few options, and make your selection, let me know about it, make your payment, and then please allow 72 hours for me to turn over the reading to you. Also, we're doing spiritual boot camp in the month of August and that includes daily guided meditations that you get to keep, but it's 30 days worth. Um, you also get to fine tune whatever spiritual aspect you're looking forward to. You get to use and exploit my gifts, all of my talent, know-how, and years of experience. You get to use that to your advantage. So you're going to have one-on-one -on -one weekly coaching or daily coaching, depending on how our schedule works. You get a weekly Q&A chat with everybody else participating in spiritual boot camp. And like I said, you get those guided meditations. There's a lot of homework assignments to do. It's going to be tons of fun and so good for your spiritual ascension and your everyday life. Everybody around you is going to benefit from your spiritual boot camp. I can't even stress it enough. Anywho, so let me know about it because I'm running a special. It's only a one-time payment of only $333 or two to prime two two time payments of two hundred dollars each so four hundred dollars anyways so let me know if you're interested spiritual boot camp only for the month of august all month long you can start anytime but the space is limited because i can only give myself to a select few i don't have an infinite time to just be one on one with everybody so i'm being told to cut the deck right here cut the deck All right, Capricorn, from the top. Wow. Right off rip, we got the fool. And you're normally not the fool, so I don't know what's making you take this attitude like zero Fs given because that's really not who you are. I feel like somebody has kind of pushed you into a corner. Yeah. And then we have the four of pentacles. Somebody's watching you. Hmm. You're trying to find balance in a situation that has none. It's very chaotic. Somebody's watching you or you're watching somebody. You're watching their every move because you don't trust them. Yeah, and I'm even seeing the snake eye that I made over here. This is inspired from my New Mexico trip because... As it turns out, when we were hiking, we almost died. There was a rattlesnake sound, and we heard it. There's a there's Lulu's and her bell of confirmation. Thanks, Lulu. I love you. So, somebody's watching you with their eyes. I don't know if they're Facebook stalking you, Instagram. You're like, Trudy, I'm not on social media. They're not on social media, I block them, whatever. They're still figuring out a way to keep tabs on you. All right? Uh, 
Ay, ay, ay. We went from Guatemala to Guatepeor. Guate worse. We got... You know when you want to make a decision, but you don't know how to make a decision because you have equally matched opponents and the odds outweigh the good equally, and so you don't know how to go about making this decision, and it's a feeling of being stuck because you're incapable of making a decision. But that's not the obstacle. I got you. That's not the obstacle yet. Hang on a second. If that sounded like an obstacle, we got more. Y'all gotta look up the number 4-4. Four, four. Angel number 4-4. Four, four. So, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Somebody who is extremely beautiful, um, financially independent, the subject of desire, or that could be you, Capricorn, right? And uh, this person, I feel like they're a chaos, a complete, <clears throat> excuse me, chaos. And you're so drawn to it like a moth to a flame. <laughs> and you just can't help yourself. Oh my God, that's a little bit too much. A Capricorn, I think it was last week, was singing a song to me, and now the angels just replayed it to me. When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh, I don't get. I don't know. Anyways, I can't. I think it's Cindy Lauper. I don't know who sings that song. Leave it in the comments, please. Too much. And then, of course, we got the Ten of Diamonds here. Ten of Cups. These people, we go together like ba ba la ba la ba la ba ching ba ding ga doom. They're so happy. There's even a kid and I think a cat. It's a dog. But we got my cat right here. No, no, no. You can't see her, but she's, she's rolling around. She's very happy. She's a happy cat. Lulu, can you give us a meow? Meow? Man. You let us know you're happy? No? Anyways. So, it looks like the outcome in August is very happy for you, Capricorn. Let's do this. Let's pull you, because you were the last reading of the month of August. So, I want to do something special for you. We're going to pull you a Feather Heart deck. I mean, a Feather Heart Oracle card, sorry. Psh, psh, psh. I'm so silly sometimes. All right, this deck is very psh, psh, psh. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any other placements, August 2021, give us the most important messages for Capricorn. They're just gonna fall out. Oh, we got a flipper. They said keep going. I remain in balance within my emotions. So the month of August is going to be an emotional month for you. It's going to be an emotionally trying month for you. However, your homework, okay, we got the cards, thank you. That was a lot, all right. Your homework is to remain with your emotions in check or you're going to lose yours. So keep those emotions in check, Capricorn. Keep balance. Don't let anybody interfere with your zen. 
I consume only my fair share. So perhaps in the past you were a glutton or perhaps in the past you felt like you needed to take more than what was your share because maybe somebody took from you, maybe there wasn't enough to go around and so you felt like you needed to provide for yourself extra and you don't see that need anymore. You're growing up and I'm really proud of you Capricorn. You're not going to be taking more for yourself. You're going to be being fair. And I don't necessarily mean in something materialistic, though it does feel very materialistic. It could be in terms of time off at work. It could be in terms of someone's time or energy. You know, it could, it could be talking about reciprocity. There's so many different ways this card could manifest. So it doesn't have to be a financial exchange or like a physical something exchange. It could be like just an energetic exchange. And that's why I call it when we do a reading, it's an energy exchange big time when we do a personal reading, okay? Um, so, that's a big card, wow. I am open to love in various forms. So, last chapter, you thought love should be like this or like that, and it was cookie cutter. And now, in this chapter, you know, I'm not saying that you're like desperate for love, but you kind of are, you're hungry for it. And the universe has shown you that love comes in different forms. It doesn't always come in the cookie cutter form that you like it the best. It comes in other ways and you actually end up liking those other ways too. So if you're open to receiving the love, you're gonna receive a whole lot of it. And why close yourself off to a beautiful thing as love? So I really encourage you to open yourself up I embrace the all. I love that that is right after the love because actually everything is love. Everything boils down to love at the end of the day and if you regress and go back to the fetus state, you can Google search this, okay? The very first organ to develop in the fetal state is the heart. So when we are first created in three dimension, okay not just energy when you and I first initiated in our mother's womb we were just a beating heart okay your love so everything is love it could be a toxic form of love but it's still love I do the best I can boy Capricorn and you are creme de la creme can I just say so when you do the best that you can that shit is Top notch primo that Gucci I love it I love this I love this reading for you oh my god so I keep my own counsel yo I wish that I could do that because people come to me for readings people come to me for advice at work I'm a trainer in the office I'm a manager you know like I'm the one with the answers but it is so hard to not only have the answer but also to apply it to your own situation it's really difficult to walk the walk walk the talk not just to talk the talk talk the walk right and so this is you holding yourself accountable this is you auto examining yourself and giving yourself your own advice and taking that advice to heart i like it because you give good advice capricorn all right i love that this came up because it's the last card and it supports the very first card it said the first card let me just take you back i remain in balance with my emotions okay and this card is supporting that because it says, I am peaceful. 
Capricorn, that's your mantra for the month of August is I am peaceful. Repeat after me, I am peaceful. I am zen. <laughs> All right, I love you, love me back, love yourself, love everybody around you. Mwah.